Here I am with a big box. Let's find out what's in it. Usually a big box means cool new toys to play with. So what we have is a big box with a smaller box in it. Now this is something from 4D BIOS and it's a grow box, a grow kit. Uh, sort of like the uh, like the Miracle Grow uh, Aeroponics little contain little kit thing, which is pretty cool. And I thought I would check this thing out and see what it's all about. Well, that's interesting. We've got another box, but this one's got a handle. I didn't really expect there to be another box with this with a handle on it. So that's interesting. So you can see what we've got here. We've got more stuff to cut. Okay. Kind of interesting packaging here. Kind of wondered if maybe I opened it upside down. This here is the, uh, the top. And look at all those LED lights in there. That's a lot of lighting. There's a little fan. Get rid of this box here. All these boxes are kind of cramping my style in here. So it's a small fan as well, and I'm not sure if that's to create airflow or to keep the um, the LEDs cool. But I think it's to create airflow because there's also some holes right here. So I think that the fan probably blows in here there and blows air out of these holes. But rather than guessing, let's put it together. And so there's a whole bunch of pieces here. Came with a little bag of mystery supplies here that are in the instructions. We'll figure that out when the time comes. So you got basically these two different sets of instructions. One of them is using it and the other one is assembling it. So we'll go with the uh, assembly instructions first. Oh, and there's cultivation instructions as well. Interesting. We'll get into that in a minute. Let's first start with the uh, installation. Got some plant nutrients. Another type of plant nutrients. These are the, the legs, sort of, that keep the light up. I'm running out of space here. These legs are labeled, which is kind of nice. This one's three, that one's four. So you'll know where to put them in the instructions. This looks like it would be the, uh, the aeroponic mister pump. Got a power supply. All right, now I've got a little bit more space to work. 
So the very first thing you do is you put these legs into the base of the system, which is also labeled with the numbers of which leg goes where, which is kind of nice. Let's get started doing that. Just number four. That's pretty handy. Show you so something in just a second here. I kind of like that. Let's see if the camera can pick this up. I kind of like this feature. So the legs snap in. It's gonna be a little bit harder to do it standing up. But there's this little tab it's like a little button that uh, it kind of snaps in. And then if you want to remove them, you can just push that button back in to pull them back out. Kind of like that. And we've got two. Telling me to place the pump in the spot. So you can see there's a little spot that's kind of milled out here, and that's where they're telling you to put the pump. Before I do that, I'm going to try to get some of the styrofoam off of this. Next is to put the lights on top. There's a little area here where there's a plug connection and there's a, a spot here with a there's some prongs so that goes into that spot The way you snap the top on is a little bit interesting. You kind of got to pull the legs out so it's like beyond the edge of the unit and then they'll snap in. It's starting to look like something now. The next steps are to place these inside of it. Starting to really look like something. So it says to connect the power to the right hand side of these ports. I think this is because you can daisy chain them together and that's why it's got two ports. So we will go ahead and do that. Look at that. Get this power button on the front. I'd already pressed it once before, just playing around, so maybe that's why it's on. Not sure why it's flashing green. That shuts it off. It's pretty bright. does feel like there's some air coming through those little holes I showed you earlier, but it's not a significant amount. I can feel a little bit more air just coming off that, that fan that's in there. Next is the cultivation. This is where you get into our different box here. Or a bag. Bag with a box in it. So 
So we've got these little sponges. They all come apart. And after you've used up the sponges that come in the kit, you can easily just make your own. You could use like a rock wool cube or pool noodle, something, any sort of foam. Or maybe they will sell replacements, I'm not sure. You've got these little guys in there too. There's th only three of them in here. I'm guessing that's to block off ones you're not using. I haven't gotten to that part of the instructions yet. But you can see they fit inside these nicely. And then they go in there. So it just blocks off a couple holes. The reason you would do that is you don't want light getting down into the reservoir because light creates allergy. So you just block that off if you're not using a couple of them comes with a measuring cup. This would be for when you're adding nutrients. Tweezers, if you want to use tweezers to place your seeds, I'll use my fingers. And it's got these tags you can use if you want to write on them what you planted where. I know my plants pretty well, so I'll I probably won't be using these, but they're included. And you got the tray. Like I said, you got your, your seed starting pieces here. I got a couple deformed ones here, but I don't think it's really going to be a big deal. So for this part, it tells you to add water to this tray and make sure that the sponges are completely soaked with water and that they're not floating. That's how you know that they're wet enough. And you'll add seeds to each of these little spots and it's telling you to make sure that the seed is the water level is just touching your seeds just maybe a little bit above them and then we'll just place this underneath the lights in here and you leave it there until the seeds are all sprouting and so we don't put anything in the water reservoir below until after the seedlings are ready to go into the the system. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add some water in this and we'll get going with that. So the instructions say to make sure you have the foam wet enough so it doesn't float. Kind of struggling with that. I put the water right on the foam to try to get to absorb the water and it's still floating. But we'll let it soak for a while and if I need to adjust the water level after, we will. We'll pick out some of the seeds that we want to grow. Go from there. I've got plenty of seeds. Concerns me a little bit that the foam still wants to float. You can see the foam still floating around in there. I don't know if it's ever going to go completely down on its own or not. I think that the problem is I have defective water. My water is overly buoyant, making the foam float when it's not supposed to. So if you have overly buoyant water, you might have an issue as well. Let's go ahead and plant some seeds in there and then we'll place this under here. I've got some Italian large leaf basil and so I've got I've got five rows of four and so I'm going to plant five different things and I'll plant four of, of them. Let's do some basil. I'm just going to put two, two seeds per per sponge to make sure that they uh, have the best chance of germination. These were some seeds I got for free from True Leaf Market when they were doing a, um, I think it was around Christmas time, they were giving away a whole basic kit of heirloom seeds. And I grew my whole garden this year with these outside. They worked out great. And I have plenty of seeds left. 
All right, so that's the red Reuben basil. And then I've got some uh, gourmet mixed lettuce. We'll do a row of that. Same thing, I'm gonna do two seeds per, per sponge. And a couple extra seeds in that last one. Maybe I should have been using those tweezers after all. Let's do the uh, some red Reuben basil. These are actually uh, microgreen seeds that I have. Just get some colorful basil in here. Now there's no difference between microgreen seeds and regular seeds. They're the same thing. So we got those all planted. Let's do some uh, romaine. This is Cimarron lettuce. Basically for test purposes, I'm doing all leafy type greens. I would be curious to know what else you could grow. It's not quite tall enough, tall enough to do like a pepper or a tomato or whatever, but I don't know, it might be interesting to, to see how they do. Then I've got some spinach. I bought this for microgreens actually almost three years ago, so hopefully this is still good seed. But I just didn't like spinach as a microgreen. It just didn't really work out for me. Maybe I'll try it again, but for now, let's see if it will still grow in our new system here. Okay, so my foam is still floating away because of that overly buoyant water I got. Just gonna hold it down a little bit. Make sure the seeds get at least nice and wet. So far, I have not been able to get this foam to stay down. It just wants to float. So we're gonna put this underneath the lights, like the instructions say. And if that's gonna keep floating, then I'll probably just keep checking on it a couple times a day and just keep dunking it down to make sure it stays wet at least. All right, so I learned with the flashing light is for, that means that your water level is low. Um, you do not add water while you're germinating the seeds because you're not even using the system, you're just using the light. And so I'm going to let these germinate until we've got some good roots coming out of the bottom of these little cubes and some decent sized little sprouts growing and then we'll move on to the next stages. don't really intend on keeping it in this location but for now this works um, I'll have to figure out exactly where I want to put it long term but I have high hopes for this thing it seems pretty cool and I like how big it is it's pretty sizable it should be able to grow some really nice lettuce and some herbs in here and so let's let's just keep this thing uh, nice and wet we'll see how they germinate I haven't read up yet to see if this light is on any sort of timer. Um, I'll check out more of that stuff as I go and I'll keep the video updated as we go on all the new things I learn about this. It's been right around 10 days and I think my seedlings are ready to go into the unit. We can get some nutrients mixed up. I'll show you what my little seedlings look like here. Try not to spill the water. I'll give you a better look once I get them in the system. Now the nutrient solution is pretty interesting. So they, it's a two part solution. There's a uh, A and B and they have different uh, NPKs. And originally I thought that they were probably gonna use one for like flowering and one for uh, greenage, but you actually use them both. So it says to use four liters of water and 40 milliliters of solution A and you dump that in the unit, and then you put another four liters of water and 40 milliliters of solution B. 
I don't have a liter bottle around, so I don't have any way of measuring that. But I had to look it up, and a gallon is 3.8 liters. And so we're going to go with a gallon. Let's add a little bit more water and then go from there. So I'm going to start by taking out one of these trays. Dump this gallon of water in there. So the light stopped flashing, so it's no longer low on water. But I don't know if you saw that in the camera, but I saw something pretty interesting is that when it was no longer a low water level, the, uh, the grow light seemed to get a lot brighter all of a sudden. So that's an interesting feature. I'm gonna get just a little bit more water. And that should be pretty close to four liters. We'll open up package A. And this is where the uh, little measuring cup comes in handy. One thing that's a little unfortunate is they want you to use 40 milliliters of the solution to four liters of the uh, water. But the measuring cup they give you only goes up to 30 milliliters. So I'll just do 30 milliliters or I'll do 20 milliliters twice. But it'd be nice the cup that it came with was big enough for the amount of nutrients they want you to use. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this or not, but we're going to shake it just in case. There's 20 milliliters. Now that's 40 milliliters. Dump this gallon in. A little bit more water, try to make it close to four liters. All right, good. Now we will add 40 milliliters of part B nutrient solution. First 20 milliliters. There's actually a little bit more than 20 milliliters, so we'll go a little bit less this time. All right, nutrients are in there, water's in there. Now we're just gonna get the plants in there. Now the water level, this isn't perfectly level where this is sitting. And so it's just barely over the bottom of the little cup on the front. And then on the back, it's just barely underneath the bottom of it. So it's not perfectly level here, but that should work out just fine. All right, now to get planting. See if I can separate these cubes without damaging anything. Oh, they actually come apart extremely easy. This was not a problem at all. So here's a basil. I drop it in its new little home. I'm going to spread these out a little bit. They're not going to be all in one row. I want it to be kind of, I don't know, a little bit of a jungle in here. Now, because I put these in a little bit early, the water level isn't touching the bottom. I mean, the roots are not in the water. I'll just have to be careful and make sure that the uh, these cubes don't dry out, that the plants don't wilt. So let's just give you a little bit of a close-up. You can see my my little sprouts are very tiny, so hopefully they do all right. And 
and we'll just keep this updated as it grows. I originally intended to wait until this was all like full grown or at least pretty close before I came to the end of this video. However, the manufacturer of this product has offered the viewers a 30% discount and the discount ends at the end of the year, 2019. And I've seen enough to be able to give my opinion on this product. And that discount I felt was too good to, uh, hold on to it for another couple weeks while I keep playing around with this. And the product is normally 200 bucks, 199 and change. And that discount brings it to 140. And I can tell you right now that $140 for this product is an amazing deal. I honestly, I, I really do feel like that's a great, great deal for this. Even at $200, I think it's, it's reasonably priced. It's a very fair price for what you're getting. Um, I really like it. So let's get the camera a little bit closer. We'll dive in, take a look, show you a little bit about how things are doing. I can see that this lettuce looks great. You know, they're still small, but they look really, really nice. I wonder if the picture would be better if I shut it off. Probably not much better with it off, but I'll turn it back on. Now, one of the things I want to show you is the root growth. That is some really, really healthy roots. And they all look like that. Just really nice. The basil is slow, but Basil is slow anyways. I mean, that's not, that's not unusual. Those little guys will begin to explode here pretty soon. I did end up getting one of my um, spinach to grow. The other one never did grow, but that's not the product's fault. That's the seed. It's really old seed. I will definitely continue to show this and provide more updates as time goes on, but I want to conclude at least the, uh, the setup and trial video for now. Get that discount out there for you guys who enjoy if it's something you're interested in. Thanks for watching.